We're here at the 231st Street Station along the one line. Not a lot of trash to speak of. You see a couple pieces over here in this area, some cigarette butts as well. Uh, and this is before you even get in through those turnstiles. A very big difference compared to a lot of the stations overnight. If you ride the subway overnight or even early in the morning, this might be a sight you haven't seen in a while. Subway cleaners. That's because the MTA cut a lot of its overnight cleaning shifts to save money last year. But it's come with a different cost and a smell to go with it. There's always like garbage, like um, like cigarettes and like plastic bags. Um, rats. Some overnight riders notice trash just piling up, and not only in the bins, all over the platforms. But people work here in NTA and don't do nothing. A lot of garbage in the, in the grounds. It was all part of a year old pilot program that moves station cleaners off their overnight shifts on several lines and onto other shifts instead. The MTA hoped the program would save it some money and actually result in cleaner stations, but it ended up doing exactly the opposite. There's a lot of trash on the tracks and it'll be like on the platform, just around everywhere. So now they're bringing those shifts back. The MTA telling me they're taking a quote, fresh look at that pilot program. Riders hope that will mean a more fresh smelling weight for their train. It's good to hear because like when I'm here, I don't want to, you know, have to smell a different smell every time I come to the subway platform. Yes, bring it back overnight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's when everybody else cleans up. The offices in Manhattan are all clean. They don't clean up during the day. I asked MTA officials exactly how many workers the program moved from their overnight shifts and how many stations and lines were affected, but they wouldn't give me an answer. And those overnight shifts are expected to go back into effect sometime early next year. We're live in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx. Mark Liverman, CBS 2 News.